I'm here with Fino, who is a Bissler. Fino! Yeah, good. He's come all the way from Germany, he's really awesome. So I'm doing his commands in German, obviously. <laughs> um, and we're just doing a little bit of foundation on heel. One of Fino's issues is that he uh, he really pulls on lead. I'm going to actually take this jacket off because the sun's coming out and it's going to be in the way. Um, so, yeah, he really pulls on lead. So we need to start teaching him a heel position. I've been trying to do this um, just free walking up and down the garden, reinforcing him in heel. Uh, but he drifts out a lot and he's quite springy and bouncy. Hey, boy. So I'm going to use this wall as a barrier. So I'm just going to show you how we can use a wall as a barrier to help a dog from to help a dog not to pop out and to swing their back end out and what, what we call crab. Okay, so crabbing is where the dog is healing, is in a heel position, but it's coming across our body and popping its back end out here. Okay, so often I use a barrier to help with this, and I also change my reward placement um, to help that far more. So I'm just gonna do a little session on that now. Today's our first session of doing it. So we'll see how we go. Okay, Fino. Him round, and I'm going to have him in heel. Good. Good. And I'm just going to go up and down this wall. Good. Incidentally, this is also how we can um, start to heal back, teach backwards, walking backwards. Yeah. Good. Yes. Yeah, nice. Good job. Oh, handler error. So you'll see the difference of me walking down with the barrier to me walking back without. Good. But already, good, good. <coughs> oh, sorry dolls. Watch the dachshund. Good. 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 So yeah, you can see that on my way down, he's far tighter because the barrier's there. So admittedly, it's only happening because of that barrier. And on the way, when I go back up, he's really drifting, uh, drifting and crabbing. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm addressing that now, really early on in our healing program. No. Um, so yeah, let's do another session of that quickly. Okay. So what I was doing there is because he was kind of drifting out, is often if the dog is facing forward in heel, lasses, sits, lie. So if the dog is sits. Fine. So if the dog is in heel position, we're very early days. <laughs> the dog is in heel position and the dog is swinging its back end out like this. Okay. What we can do is we can change our reward placement 
to encourage the dog to keep their, their arse in, okay? And how we do that is we have the food, okay? And we give the food, rather than popping it down here whilst their end, end is out, because therefore we're reinforcing that position, we give the treat by bending their head around. Leave it, Dolly. We give the treat here. So the dog has to turn its head and we're reinforcing it there, okay? Enough. Yeah. Ah, ah. Nine. Good. Good. So, we're giving the treat like this. Yeah? Like this. Yes. 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 Okay. Because this starts to predict that the food is coming out this way keep my head, uh, keep my arse in. Good. 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 Yeah. That's that's good. Nothing. Good. Up. Yeah. Good. Good. Yep. Good. Okay. So that's one of the ways that we can use a barrier to help with uh, dogs uh, both crabbing and drifting also to encourage that really tight heel position that we all aspire to have. Um, and again, like with all dogs, I've just put his daily breakfast allocation into a freezer bag and I'm using that. Fino, lasses, dolls. Good. Nine. Nine. Good. So Fino is super obsessed with Dolly, who isn't feeling it. So we are going to be working on that also. A bit better impulse control around other dogs. Good girl, dolls. It's okay for him to be smelling her while she's feeling comforted by me. But chasing down and... Plunking your paws on Daxies isn't cool. So that's something we're going to be working on as well. But yeah, um, using a barrier in healing. Awesome.